For 5.2 task one, it says that Hank has a recipe that calls for the ingredients shown per batch. One cup of sour cream, four cups of milk. And this table shows us the milk if he doubles, and the sour cream if he doubles the recipe, right? We times by two, times by two, equivalent ratios. So describe a pattern you see in the amount of sour cream and milk when the recipe is doubled. So tell me, how did we get from here to here and here to here? What was the pattern they were doing each time? Now it wants us to complete the table for three and four times the original size. So what do we do to find the answer, right? I'm going to times the milk, the basic ratio. Always go back to that basic ratio. We're gonna times the basic ratio by three. So basic ratio. So we're gonna do the basic ratio times three, and then we're gonna repeat and do the basic ratio times four. So here we're gonna times by three, and we're going to times by three. Then we're going to take the sour cream and we're going to times by four, and we're going to take the milk and times by four. So always go back to the basic ratio. So C asks us to write a ratio of cups of sour cream to cups of milk. So sour cream first, milk second, every time. It's really important we read our question. So we're just taking these and writing them as fraction ratios. So one batch is one to four. Two batches, we need two to eight. So go ahead and finish those here using your table. Now, are the ratios we wrote in part C here equivalent ratios? What do they all simplify to? So I'm going to say yes. And how do I know that? Because they all, I don't know why I'm writing this with my mouse and not just typing it, but it's too late now. So they all simplify to one, they all can simplify and have a basic ratio that is the same. That means they are equivalent fractions. So you can blank both terms of a ratio by the same blank to find an equivalent ratio. So you can multiply both terms of a ratio by the same number, right? What we do to the numerator, we do to the denominator. So these have a multiplicative relationship. So not adding them, right? We times by two, times by three, times by four. And we did the same thing to the other side, which makes them equivalent. Okay, describe a consistent pattern between the number of cups of sour cream and the number of cups of milk. How could, so how could you use this pattern to help you find the amount of needed for eight batches? So that's what I want us to do. So we know we needed one and four. So if I wanted to make eight of these, what will this ratio be here? And right, we're timesing it by eight. So what will this one be? Same pattern. If I wanted to make it 10 times, I'd times them both by 10. If I want to make it 30 times bigger, I'll times them both by 30. As long as we do the same thing to both sides, we'll get those equivalent fractions or equivalent ratios.